Hello my amazing people, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I want to show you how you can improve your email delivery so that whenever you receive emails from your website they always show up in the inbox rather than them showing up in the junk folder. Now without any further ado, let's get started. So you will have to log into your WordPress website and once you are into your WordPress website go into the plugin section and once you are into your plugins area you are going to look up for a plugin called post SMTP. Once it shows up over here, simply install it and activate it. I already have it installed and activated and once it's activated, it shows up right down below here. Then you're going to click here on your post SMTP settings and this is how it looks like. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come over right here to show all settings. And this is the most crucial part about setting up this plugin because you have to instruct it and point it to wherever you want your emails to be sent. So under the transport section, we have to select the SMTP option because we are going to point that all our emails are going to be delivered on our business email. And this is an email like admin at your website.com or it can be your name at your website.com or any other business email. Now, once you set it up over here or once you select it, then down below here, we are going to leave this on default by using the post SMTP. And under the transport settings, this is now where we have to actually put in the real settings of our SMTP service provider. Now for the outgoing post SMTP server or the host name, these details can one, be provided by your web host and two, you can actually log into your web hosting service provider and locate these settings. So right here, I'm logged into my cPanel settings and specifically for this email that I'm going to be setting up, which is admin at my website.com. Down here, I'm provided with all the manual settings. Now, if you don't have these, you simply can email your web hosting service provider and they can send you these details. Down below here, I have my username and down below here, I have my incoming server and the outgoing server. So under the section of the outgoing server, I will select my host server. So I simply come back here to my settings section and I will have to input my outgoing server, which is that domain. And then the outgoing server port, which is down below here. Remember I'm using the SSL or the recommended settings, not the non-SSL ones. So the port is different, which is 465. So I come back over here, I have to enter in the 465 and the envelope email or the email address that is pointed to this SMTP. Now, this is also very crucial. So you simply just come back over here, copy your username, which is the email, and then paste it over here. And the security, I'm going to leave this on default and authentication is going to be plain. So under the authentication uh, section, all the account details, here you have to enter in the username, which is the real username in this case, the email address, which is this over here, and the password. So this password is the actual password that you actually have to use to log into your business email. We're not going to set up anything in the fallback session. We will leave it at no. And here on the from email, now this is very important because whenever you send out or whenever you receive emails from your website, they will indicate from where that email is coming from and also the sender or the name. Now, in most cases, when you use third party plugins like contact forms or like WP forms or even from WooCommerce, these settings may be overridden. So under this section, we can set up that our email address is going to be this email address for whichever email we are getting from our website. And then the name or the display name that will appear on that email will always be this name that we set up here. And then we can set that these settings will never be overridden by any of those other third party plugins. Now, when you look into here my inbox, you realize that if you leave these settings here over unchecked, whenever you send out your emails, there will appear something like this, new contact form, new contact form. Now, this is the default subject whenever someone uses your contact form to send you an email. We are going to set up that whenever we receive emails from our website, who should be the sender? And in that case, this is where this is very important, from that website. Now, when you don't force this, as the sender, it means that whichever plugin or whichever notification you'll be getting from your website will depend on which theme or which plugin you are using. Now, in this case, I forced them and down below here, I'm going to leave everything as it is. But in case you want to add additional or you want to copy in people for all the emails that you'll be receiving from your website, you can easily add them over here. Then the login, this is basically kind of a report. This plugin compiles whenever you receive emails from your website and you can limit how many logs you can actually store on your website for you to follow up. At the moment, it's set to 250. And that is in case you want to really follow up on your email delivery. 
but if you don't want you can simply set this to no under the advanced section i'm going to leave this on default and also under the notification i'm going to leave this on default but please make sure that this is set to wp admin you simply now save changes so now we are going to test out one of our forms on this website and we see how it looks like my name is creator hamza and my email is maybe creator at you know email.com and the subject is going to be tutorial email and here i'm going to simply just enter in and say i'm testing this form to see that it delivers the right website name okay so i'm going now to send boom so now our email is sent now let's jump straight into our inbox the first thing we are testing at the moment is one will our email be delivered in the inbox two are we going to get the same name as the sender of the website like we had set up in the post smtp plugin now let's check our inbox i'm simply going to reload boom it looks like the email has come through and the email, the email subject is tutorial email. I know you remember very well where we wrote that subject. And then the from email is actually the name we set up that should be used whenever we send out emails from our website. And we did that from right here under the settings. And we came over here to the message and the from name is actually the website name. Congratulations to us on one, having this email come into the inbox not appearing in the junk and also having the email set up just like we have set it up. Now, let me show you if we had not checked these options, I'm going to simply uh, uncheck this and I'll simply uncheck this and I'm going to save. I'm going to come over here to the contact form and I'm going to send again an email. So my name is designer ham. I'm going to just write here a dummy email and the subject is not forced and testing email to without checked boxes. I'm going to send. Cool, our message has been sent. Now let's go to the inbox. We are going to reload. Second thing, very good our email is now delivered in the inbox and the subject is actually the one called not first and now see that down here the sender has changed to skill jet why is it so one simply because we have not forced on who the sender will be but second we're using another plugin where skill jet is set as the sender now let me show you where that is coming from when we come over here to our wp forms because this contact form over here is powered by wp forms so when i come over here and you come over here under the notifications area, you realize that the from name is actually Skilljet. Now, that is why you are seeing that the last email we are getting is from Skilljet because the contact form is powered by WP Forms. And in WP Forms, we set up that the sender or wherever we receive an email from using that contact form, the sender will be Skilljet. Now, how do we make sure that even if we don't check these rules over here, always we'll have the website name appear as the sender? So we can simply just come over here on our WP forms, contact form, and simply just delete the, the form name and use a smart tag. And in the smart tag, we can simply choose a full name of the person who has sent the email so that under this section, we'll actually have the name of the person who has sent the email. When you look under here on the email subject, we can always choose on if we actually want the subject to appear as a subject of the real email whenever we receive them, which is the same thing over here. So what you have to do is make sure that you select the subject as the subject of the email, which I had earlier selected. Now we are going to simply save. Now once we save, remember that we have not yet checked our boxes, which is under the email. Now we are going to send again, and then you will see what actually happens. So I'm going to come back here to my contact page. So I'm going to say name, name is Hamza and uh, down below here I'm going to choose an email ham at ham.com 
and the subject is going to be courses we want to send when we come over here to our inbox boom now realize that our subject is courses and who is the sender the sender is actually hamza the name has been doubled probably because we put the sender twice as the form when we come over here to wp forms realize that the from name is actually repeated twice as a smart tag so i will delete that that's why it has delivered two names but now this is very important because then it is easy for you to identify who has sent you an email before you actually open it up but also some people what they prefer is basically to name this form as a form on their website which is just like below here you know giving it just that name or once you force these rules under here it means that whenever someone uses that form or any other forms or any other emails that are going to come from your website it will appear just like this over down below here the other thing that we can test out are emails like from woocommerce so when you come over here to woocommerce i'm going to go to orders and under orders i'm going to come to one of the order which is this order and i'll simply just make a simple trick to basically send an email let me say recent new order notification boom now that has been sent so i'm going to come back here to my inbox boom now you realize that this has changed why has it changed because now woocommerce is using the store name as one the subject of the email and also the sender of the email now how do we change this we can change that by one coming back over here and one forcing these so you can set this up from woocommerce by coming under here woocommerce settings another settings there's something called emails and here you can make changes to any of this for example canceled order manage and you can right here dictate on the recipients is actually this email and the subject here you can add you know the site name or who is the sender now in this case the site name is dnk global and that is why you see it just like this and you can add all the other options and the email heading and all that stuff so before we close it up let me show you the email log section which is just under below here on the post smtp come to email log and boom this is where you can see all the delivered emails from where and when okay this is how it looks like and this looks like a spam mail that has been sent by probably a bot and there is a tutorial on how I show you on how you can add a recapture on your WordPress contact form so that you can limit the number of, you know, spam messages that you are receiving right inside your email inbox. So you will check it up right here in the card or in the description box below. So in a nutshell, that's how you can improve your email deliveries from your WordPress website using the post SMTP plugin. Now, in case you have any questions regarding this tutorial, please let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and have a good time. Goodbye.